just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyreek. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Okay. Anyway, good morning everyone and apparently it is Sunday. We're getting ready for church and I know it's been a minute but I have been a little bit busy. Actually a whole lot busy. My 7 o'clock mornings I'm really super tired and then in addition to that we had Landmark this week so we were going every night after me getting up early in the morning so it was just a busy week and I didn't really have time to bring out the camera. I do apologize about that. But anyway I'm back now and I will show you guys the things I have going on later. Almost done with the kids bathroom. Looking really good. Um, yeah, I'll let you guys see all that later, maybe, or maybe I'll do a big reveal. I don't know. But anyway, I better finish getting ready for church. All right, you guys, I'm giving you a sneak peek. I decided I will wait to do a full reveal, but the bathroom is painted and you can't really tell right now, but this is the gray color that I picked out. But for some reason to me, it looks blue. I don't know if you can see on the camera that it looks blue, but I may actually take it, the paint, back to Home Depot. They told me I could and they could put something in it to um, make it more gray. Now that I'm looking at it on the camera, it looks gray. But in the sunlight and when I'm looking at it just directly, it looks blue, but my kids tell me I'm crazy. Maybe I'm colorblind, I don't know, but this looks blue to me. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday. Nope, it's not morning, it's afternoon. Um, I'm at home today because I am sick and I was sick yesterday. So you guys know how I'm new to my job. So I didn't want to call in. It's better that they send you home. So I went to work sick yesterday, like really sick. And I wasn't even there. 30 minutes and they were like, Michelle, are you sick? And I'm like, yeah, I don't feel good. And I did have a fever. So they were like, oh, we don't want to get your cooties. You go home. I didn't want to call in or whatever. And they're like, you know what? We understand, see that you're clearly ill, you know, just go home. And if you're not feeling well for tomorrow, which is today, you know, just let us know. So yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better now, but I just needed to get some rest. Savannah was sick also. Cheyenne had started to get sick, but I don't think she got fully sick. But Savannah did not go to church on Sunday and she missed school yesterday, but she went back to school today. For dinner, we are going to have this, just a box meal. I'm not going to cook. That way I'm not coughing and hacking over the food or whatever like that. So a little bit later, I will put this, cause this, this actually takes a couple of hours to make. If it's frozen, it takes an hour and 20 minutes to make. And if it's thawed, 43 minutes. That's not true in my experience because I've got these before and it actually if you take it right out the freezer it takes about a couple hours to cook. So I just heated up some, what is this? My goodness I can't even think. Oh my goodness you guys I cannot even think of what this soup is. Clam chowder and I'm having orange, orange juice. So that is my, I haven't eaten breakfast so breakfast lunch my brunch. And I am watching Dexter on Netflix. Do you guys remember that show Dexter that used to come on TV years ago? I remember before I was like, uh, it sounds boring. I don't want to watch that. But now it's so interesting. So if you guys have watched it, let me know. But he is a crime scene blood splatter analyst. And it sounds boring. But he kills bad people. So the show is about him and his life and how he has this desire to kill but he's channeling it channeling it differently doesn't make it right but yeah the sitting here about to watch that i'm on the third season and there's eight seasons of this 
And you guys, I am like 80% done with the bathroom. I was going to actually show you guys, you know, the progress as I went along, but I don't think I'm going to do it now. I just want to show you guys all at once. I actually think it turned out really good. And I know before I told you guys I wanted kind of like rustic, not farmhouse, because that belongs in the dining room, living room, and kitchen. Um, but it has a couple of farmhouse items that I will have in there. The reason why I'm not going to show you guys now is because I've ordered a few things that are not here yet and I wanted to make sure that was all in before I show you guys but the walls are painted. Remember I told you guys I was going to use that same kit that I use on my kitchen cabinets, um, cabinet transformation so I painted that. I put the knobs on and what else? I got a few decorations. I got a new shower curtain. It just looks like a totally different bathroom. Oh and the floor is redone. Y'all heard me right, the floor. I did it. So yeah, I will show you guys everything. You guys are gonna be shocked. It just, it looks really good. And now the kids are like, oh my goodness, I just wanna be in the bathroom now. And I'm like, me too, it looks better than my bathroom. I just wanna go use the bathroom in the shower. And they're like, no, and I'm like, excuse me, I paid a mortgage here. All right, let me eat, because I'm just trying to let it cool off, because it was popping in the microwave. It splattered all over the place, and I'm just trying to let it cool down and then relax all right so it's much later 7 30 almost i've been sleeping on and off almost all day and i was starting to feel better and then why is it when you're sick you feel better during the day but at night you start to feel sicker or i don't know so my nose is stopped up even more but i'm going to work tomorrow because i can't miss three days they've already given me we were nice enough to let me stay home these two days so yeah and I'm using these have you guys ever used these Kleenex with Vicks plus lotion they are amazing they smell good I love the smell of Vicks and it really does help anyway so yeah using that and I've been drinking tea with honey in it and been using medicine I just took a couple of Tylenol um, because my head is hurting and yeah, you guys, I'm just really tired. Hello everyone, it is Friday and they decided to let me stay home today because I'm still not feeling all that great. It was only five hours and only five hours, but yeah, it's still money out my pocket because I'm still new there and I don't have time available, but they said my health is more important and just to go home to be able to rest and sleep in. And I did that. But I'm about to go out and about because I need to grab some things from Walmart. Here and there this week of me feeling burst of energy, I did a few things more around my house. Not really the ladders there, but I didn't really do anything to the um, dining room area. I didn't finish painting. I do have more. Um, what do you call that? Oh my goodness, I'm so tired, you guys. My nose is so raw for me blowing it. Yeah, I don't know if you guys could tell. Yeah, but it's really raw. And I did get the tissue with Vicks in it and lotion, but it's still raw. Anyway, what was I saying? I did get more primer, but I didn't do anything in there because I just haven't felt like climbing on a ladder and doing any of that, that stuff. But I did almost finish the kids' bathroom. Something came, excuse me, in the mail yesterday or the day before that I put in there. And I'm still waiting for more things that's going to be delivered tomorrow. And then one next week. In the kitchen, as I started painting, you guys, I did my kitchen floors. And yes, I did say I did it. A lot of research and I did that. But once once I put this floor on, okay, let me go back a little bit. First of all, you guys, I will tell you a secret. So remember when I was painting the cabinets, which I still love my cabinet color, um, even though I think I told you guys this, if I could afford the 20 or $30,000 to have a professional come out to do it, I would have done that. But since I don't have money like that, I had to research how to do it on my own. So that's how I did it with the same kit I'm pretty much using throughout my house. So I'm still in love with my kitchen cabinets. And I painted the walls yellow, as you guys see, because I seen pictures, and I'll show you guys later, that I was inspired from. And no, it does not look exactly like that. And once I bought the paint that went well with the cabinets, and so that's the reason why I painted it that bright yellow, but now that for some reason that the floor is done, 
it looks really, really bright. And it was really, really bright when I did it. And the secret is I really didn't like the brightness of it, but I just left it and it was like, whatever. But I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, you guys see right there. I am going to <laughs> repaint the kitchen. I'm going to stick with yellow. My kids hate the yellow color. The girls are like, I don't know what you were thinking with that yellow. And okay, yeah, that's their opinion. This is my house. They're not going to live here forever. When they get their own houses, they can paint their kitchen, whatever they want. But I like the look that I was going for. And yellow is not one of my favorite color, you guys. Actually, I don't like yellow. I won't wear yellow because I don't think it complements my skin tone very well. But I like sunflowers <laughs> and that's yellow. So yeah, I'm going to try to find some paint that's not as bright as this yellow is here. Yeah, see the yellow? It's really bright. It looks really good over here, how it complements everything. With the floors done and the walls together, for some reason it's too much. So yeah, I'm going to try to find a paint that's not as bright and go from there. So yeah, I'm going to do that today and then, then I still have to do a few things, um, buy a few things from Walmart. And so let's get going, you guys. Okay, so this is just to give you guys an example, if you don't remember, and the ones who are new to my channel, what I was technically, what I was going for, for my kitchen. And yeah, I know it doesn't look exactly like this, but this is the look that inspired it mainly and see how the yellow is not as bright it's kind of muted and then I seen this this is way too well my kit my cabinets aren't this bright but for some reason I still like that and yeah I know some people may not but to each their own I kind of think it's cute um, see the red cabinets with the yellow walls so yeah but this is the look that I was going for even though I knew my cabinets were not going to be this exact color yeah I'm just going to look for some paint that's muted and hopefully it'll be better with my kitchen now that I have the floors done and yeah okay so I am back home and I actually found a color that I like a lot that I don't know why I didn't pick this before maybe I did I don't know but I think it complements the red very well it's called sunflower seed i love sunflowers but that's not the reason why i chose it and let me show you guys okay so i know it's gonna be hard to tell because this is not the actual paint but let me turn it around this is it right here actually that doesn't look that bad either that's honey infusion but anyway i got a sample of this one it's called honey no it's called sunflower seed let me back up a little bit and i think it complements very well and I did paint a little bit right there but that is over this color right here so you're really not able to tell um, I did a few spots right there but I need to open up the primer and I'm gonna prime a lot of this and then put it on but I already think that I'm going to go for that because that just to me it looks it looks good I may try the honey infusion I don't know. We'll see. And for my dining room, I know it's really hard to tell because of the lighting. You guys really can't see. But I painted these two on. And this one is Authentic Tan. And this one is called Elegant Ivory Cream. Um, this one, Vanilla Mocha. I do not like this one. I painted this one last night. And I don't know. I just don't like it. So I'm waiting for these two to dry to see if I like any one of those. I kind of like this one right here. But I don't know. We'll see once it dries. Hello, everyone. It is Saturday evening. I am just now picking up the camera. It's actually pretty late. It's almost 11 o'clock. Every time I went to pick up the camera today, I just didn't feel like it. Even though I wanted to, that makes any sense. I've been sick all week. I do not have the flu. I don't have body aches or anything like that. I don't have a fever. Um, I just feel really crappy. And tomorrow's Sunday, so apparently I have one more day to get better before I go back to work. So, yeah, I'm just trying to hydrate myself with juices and water tea with honey and lemon in it and just everything to try to make myself feel better savannah's feeling a whole lot better we call her patient zero because every time 
every one of us gets sick in the house, she's always the one that gets sick first. So she's patient zero. And now she's feeling fine. She's a whole lot better. And then I'm, I'm sick and now Cheyenne's really sick. Tariq is not sick because he's never home. That kid is never home. He's hardly ever around us. I barely see him. I know I joked the other day and I was like, do I still have a son? Who are you, you know? But yeah, he's barely home. So he is not sick and he's actually out doing, he does DoorDash more than me and Savannah does. So anyway, I just wanted to bring out the camera because I know I haven't been vlogging lately. And even though I said I was going to, but because I've been sick. So I do apologize for this, you guys. And I know I look a mess. I sound like a man but whatever so in spurts i have been finishing the bathroom and i know you guys are probably like oh my goodness she's talking about that stinking bathroom again well you guys you already know home improvement just makes me happy okay so remember i told you guys i wanted to get something that could complement this brown right here um and i don't like this one um and then i put this one on and this one which you guys really can't see that well because of the lighting it's not that great right now let me turn on another light see if that helps oh a little bit so anyway i do not like these um i think instead of going tan i may go a little bit more brown because i don't like these shades so we'll see you guys and as you can see my dining room is still a mess i have not continued to paint the um oh my goodness my voice is going out i have not continued to paint the what is it called the primer on the walls because i have not been feeling well the primer sitting right there <laughs> but i have done the bathroom but that was just little stuff here and there so i got this throat soother tea that i'm going to try so um yeah my throat really hurts you guys so we're gonna go ahead and have that and I'm going to put honey in it instead of sugar. So I have my tea, but I'm also going to take some mucinex, cold, flu, and sore throat. Even though I don't have the flu, I'm still gonna take this. this stuff is disgusting. And I was going to take NyQuil, but I don't like the feeling of being drugged, so I'm not going to take that. Bottoms up. This stuff is gross. <sighs> but it really helps my congestion, so that's the reason why I still take it. So I'm going to try this tea and see how it tastes. It smells okay. tastes good yeah it tastes good it's just hot duh and I am out of lemons because all of us were sick and then Tariq he likes to make lemonade so he used up the last of the lemons so I don't have any lemon in there but I'm tired you guys I'm sitting here and I'm trying to catch up on my YouTube videos because I am behind on everyone everyone all of you guys that I watch I'm behind it is a Tuesday night a rare occasion that the four of us are all together we all rode in the same car is after work for everybody and we are at Outback okay so this one right here look is why are you cracking up <laughs> She finds this so hilarious. And we're in Walmart, apparently. Okay, Savannah Why and Cheyenne are putting different? on sun tanning lotion. Can you tell which one? They know they shouldn't. Look what she did. <laughs> and then look at her finger. Can you this... tell which one has sun tanning lotion on it? Savannah, Guess. yours, is, yours yeah. is going to get darker later. I put the flashlight on it, so I think it's No, fine. that's not the sun. I think I'll be fine. These kids. Good morning, everyone. It is super early. It is 6.15. I leave in like... 15 minutes to head out to work um, today's my early day and I'm surprised I actually pulled out the camera this early but I realized I haven't been 
vlogging a lot since I've been sick and whatever. So um, I'm feeling better. I know I still probably sound congested or whatever. And my nose is running like a river. So um, just dealing with that and this cough that won't go away. So yeah, I get out at 3.30 today. I'm excited about, even though you guys know I hate getting up so early in the morning because I'm not a morning person at all. I like it this way because I get off at 3.30 and then I could be home and rest and whatever. But before I go come home today, I'm actually going to go to Home Goods. I'm going to get some rugs for the kitchen floor. Um, yeah, because the kitchen floor is redone, you guys. No more of that. The ugly vinyl floor. Um, it's still a vinyl floor that's in there, but it's actually really nice. And I will show you guys that. I don't know, maybe later today or I don't know, we'll see. And the bathroom is almost complete. I was waiting on one more thing to come in from Amazon and I need to put that on and then I can show you guys. I'm so excited. And you guys are probably like, finally, so she can quit talking about this bathroom. Well, I'll stop talking about the bathroom and then I'll start talking about the dining room because that's next, you guys. So yeah, all right. I leave in a little bit. I am still watching Dexter. I'm watching it on my phone. The show is very intense. This guy is, and if you guys have seen the show, let me know in the comments below. But I'm just wondering, does he ever get caught? I mean, you know, I guess I'll find out. But I'm on the eighth and final season, and usually when I get to shows on the last season, I go slower because I don't want it to end. But it's so intense, and I want to find out everything that's going on. So. I'll be done with this soon. I think each season only has 12 episodes anyway. So I'm in line for McDonald's. I do have coffee and creamer at home, but I just decided I wanted to get some coffee here today. I think this window is not working. Hey everyone, so I'm home from work. I did go to Home Goods, but I didn't find a rug that I wanted. They were either too small or just not cute at all. And then I went to Kohl's and they did have runners because I want two kitchen runners. I do have two kitchen rugs in there right now and I don't want to show you guys because that means I would have to show you the floor and even though the floor is done, I just want to reveal it later. They did have runners there, but it either wasn't that cute or if it was the right size and it was okay looking and I seen one for like 80 bucks I'm like 80 bucks for one runner I'm not gonna do that and it wasn't even all that great looking so I didn't get it I may just look on Amazon and order it on Amazon or I'll look on Overstock or what's one of those other apps Joss and Main I'm going to finish putting the final touches on the kids bathroom and then I'm going to show you guys you guys finally get to see this bathroom because it's done. I'm so excited. All right, you guys, so I'm so excited to show you this. I am so proud of this bathroom, but let me throw in this disclaimer. I am in no way, shape, or form a professional, but it looks pretty good in there, if I do say so myself, pop my collar. Anyway, you guys will see what I mean when I show you guys. So I will remind you guys what it looked like before, just a plain, regular bathroom that just was not decorated, just bland and blah. So I'll show you guys that right now. And are you guys ready for the final reveal of this beautiful bathroom? I kind of like it more than mine. All right, you guys, look at this bathroom. Yes, this is my children's bathroom. And look at the floors. I did this, you guys. And remember the counters? Not the counters, but the cabinets. They were brown. I painted them gray. And I drilled holes in. I put in the knobs right here. So, yes. And these are the things that I was waiting on for Amazon. I got these from Amazon and also these. So... If I would have to describe the bathroom, if I had to describe it by a theme, I would say it's kind of like spa with a hint of rustic because these are rustic um, mason jar lantern hangers, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. So yeah, so I put that up there and you guys, I'm loving this color of the wall now because with everything done, it looks gray to me. So yeah, that's that. 
a new shower curtain and because I did not want nothing hanging on the walls I ordered this from Amazon also it's a standing towel rack and even though the bathroom is small I really do like this so yeah I got that from Amazon these pictures came from Amazon and these two um, if you guys want to know how much it is or the links just let me know and I could put that um, in a comment to you guys so yeah okay this right here every bathroom has to have spray because you know why anyway so these rocks see how I glued them on here I got them from Hobby Lobby in the bag for like two bucks and I just took my um, glue gun and I glued them on here I got this tray right here at Home Goods and then I bought this at TJ Maxx for I think like five bucks or something like that so that's just decoration there and then these right here for the soap dish and the toothbrush holder and the garbage can, which you guys can't really see all that great right there. I got that from Home Goods. And I'm trying not to let you guys see me because I'm not fully dressed. And this right here, this little setup right here, isn't it cute? I hope you guys cannot see me because I look a mess. Anyway, look at that. I got the plant from TJ Maxx, I think, and then the candle from Hobby Lobby. I got this from Home Goods, and then I got this from Hobby Lobby also, and I just bought some fresh eucalyptus and I put it in there. And I also, these came with the house, and they're pretty heavy and they are they were nice looking. So I'm like, instead of buying new ones, I just painted them white. but. Of course, I'm not an electrician, so I don't know how to change the whole thing. I would prefer this to be stark white also, but it's not, but it's okay. And then, so see the trim around the bathroom, that lace trim? I got that from Amazon also. So remember how I did mine in my bathroom with, um, it was with wood and I bordered it that way. I kind of messed up, so I didn't want to do that to their bathroom. So I did it this way and I actually like it. Let me show you guys up close. I just want to show you guys what it looks like up close. So it came like this in a roll and of course it's sticky on one side. So I just measured what I needed and yeah, just used a credit card and ran it along here and put it on there but you guys I am so proud of this bathroom it looks amazing like a brand new bathroom oh I didn't show you guys this so up there I got I know call it ghetto or tacky whatever but they're peel and stick tiles and I put it up there just to give the bathroom more I don't know I don't know if definition is the right word but I put that up there and also so when I bought the house, the previous owners, there's a window right here, you guys, right? So the previous owners, they had a curtain rod and like this really sheer curtain. And I didn't like it, but I just kept it there. But I took it down and I bought this privacy glass and I just measured it out and stuck it up there. It's like vinyl and you stick it on there and it stays, you guys. So yeah tell me what do you think i think it turned out very well i'm actually very proud of this bathroom i like it a little bit more than mine and it's officially done so yeah what do you guys think and the floors though right yeah i did it myself i just wanted to show you guys what i use for the window in the bathroom and it's called stick shades I got this from Walmart and it comes in a roll like this. This is actually my second roll that I bought because I am going to put this in my dining room area. Let me show you guys. So y'all see that area up there? So next door to that house right there, it's a two story house and there's a bedroom right there that overlooks my backyard. And if I take this down, of course, they would be able to see inside the house. So. When I first moved in, I put this up there and it was supposed to be temporary. It's temporary blinds and it's been there ever since I moved in in 2011. Yeah, if you guys want to transform your home, your room, your space, and you don't have a whole lot of money or you're working on a budget, 
then do your research because you can get a lot of things done yourself if you like to do it. Okay, and let me tell you guys this. If I did have the money to have someone come in and professionally do the floors and do everything, whatever, maybe not everything because I kind of enjoy doing some of that on my own. Um, I'm sure they wouldn't decorate for me. I would still do that myself. But if I could afford to have someone come in, do it professionally, yes, I would do it. But I did it on my own and I'm actually really proud of the bathroom, you guys. So yeah, I cannot wait to see what the dining room is going to look like. It's not going to be done as quick as the bathroom because I don't know, I'm kind of picky when it comes to picking out the dining room set and the one that I really want you guys is two thousand dollars yeah but it's really really nice and it's huge so I don't know we'll see um, I have <laughs> what's that saying champagne taste on a beer budget that's me that's always been me and yeah but I like what I like I can't help it so if I want to get something nice then I'm gonna do it but I don't want to jump and just get the first expensive thing that I see just because I like it. I want to shop around and see if there's anything else that I like that I can get for. I don't want to get anything anything cheap because I've had really cheap furniture before and they broke down and they just don't look right. I want to get something nice and that's what I'm going to do. And I still don't even know what color I want to paint the walls in the dining room. The colors that I have up there now that I showed you guys, that's that... I put up there it kind of looks orange or peach not orange but it looks like a peach color and I don't like it so I may go darker brown not darker brown like my living room but I may just have to get something with more of a brown tone to it y'all know what I'm saying so yeah we'll see so yeah that's next this weekend I am going to finish priming the walls in there and then maybe tomorrow after work, I'll go to Home Depot and look for some more swatches or samples of paint color and then go from there. So yeah, we'll see you guys. My little home is coming together. But I love that bathroom though. It's like 10 o'clock. I'm in my closet because I'm trying to pick out something to wear to work tomorrow and then I'm going to go to bed. I'm so tired of coughing. My voice is so, I feel like my voice is hoarse and it just sounds hoarse. I don't know. In my head, it sounds different. I don't know if you guys could tell the difference. I don't know. Anyway, so you guys, I don't even know what's all on this vlog. It's little bits here and there from last week when I was sick and whatever. And yeah, so I am just going to end it here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please do me a favor before you leave, hit that subscribe button if you have not already so you can be a part of the Shell Bill Life family. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.